I made a browser game in JavaScript with no experience. JavaScript is probably one of the most popular programming languages on the web right now, with over 98% of all websites using it. But what does this have to do with making a browser game? Well, recently I was at work and I had to program something with JavaScript and this got me thinking. How hard is it to make a game with it? So this is exactly what we're gonna do. I might be a software developer, but let me tell ya, I had absolutely no idea how to start. So the first thing I did was to search for JavaScript frameworks for games. I found popular frameworks like Phaser, Babylon.js or Unity, but nah. They were a little bit too thick for my taste. I was looking for something lighter. I watched some videos about the most epic JavaScript game development frameworks and I found Kaboom.js. And after I saw the green bean guy shoot up some fruits in the demo, I was sold. So now I had to find out how to install it, which was surprisingly easy just by running this command right here and... Kaboom! Get it? Cause it's called Kaboom J. Anyway, the framework was up and running, but what I should really focus on first is what we're actually making here. So I started thinking and came up with what's probably the most unique idea that has never been done by anyone ever before. You ready for this? The Chrome Dinosaur game, but it's in Mexico. Mind blowing, right? So I hopped straight into Photoshop and started to design what I thought my runner guy might look like. And after I got some inspiration by googling Mexican guys, I came up with this guy right here. Juan. He's perfect, isn't he? Just look at his intense gaze filled with the sheer will to make it to the American book. I also needed a background for the game, so I made a little desert where Juan will be running through. Added some little details here and there, and there we go. Alright, now it's time to get a little more familiar with Kaboom.js and how to actually use it. So I just played around in its playground and shortly after added a player and loaded up the local server, and just like that, there was Juan. But he couldn't do nothing yet, so we had to add some gravity in a platform where Juan can stand on so he's not falling into the shadow realm. Cool, now he can fall. But if we want to make an endless runner style game, Juan here needs to be able to jump and move. So I made a movement function in which the whole player movement is defined. And also we need some obstacles that he has to jump over. So I made a little script that spawns squares in different heights and moves them towards Juan. But they're not doing any damage yet. So I added a collision function and also made a little losing screen that comes up if you hit any of the obstacles. That's nice. Next I made a little score that shows how many obstacles you've jumped over and displays it on the losing screen. I had to figure out how to count that properly because somehow it always wanted to increase the score by the time it passed. I played around with the sizing movement and jump strength for a while and now it feels a lot better and I would say it's almost a playable game at this point. Well, ignore that. But in order to make the game look not so boring, we need other obstacles than just squares. So to stay in our game's theme, I created a tumbleweed, cactus and a rock obstacle and replaced the squares with them. Then I had to adjust the script to generate them randomly and that the spawn intervals were not always the same. And there we go. Now we have cool obstacles. I made the rock obstacle larger than the other ones, but I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, now it's time to create the walking animation for Juan and god did I underestimate this. I had absolutely no idea on how to actually animate something, cause I haven't done it before. So I watched some videos that didn't help at all until I found one super useful feature in Photoshop called Puppet War that allowed me to add some kind of moving points to Juan's joints, which made his movement look realistic. So I made two or three different walking sprites of Juan and slapped them back into the game and just like that, Juan can walk. Yeah, now he can walk. Now we need one more sprite of him jumping. So I went back to Photoshop and made good old Juan spread them lags for me and there we go, now we have a jumping animation. But the game didn't feel very challenging at this point, so I experimented with the game speed and made the game go faster on every 10 point milestone, which worked out pretty well. Also, remember the large rock obstacle I mentioned earlier? Well, I made them too large to actually jump over them with a single jump. So the natural solution to this problem is a double jump. But I thought that having the double jump from the beginning is too easy, that's why it gets enabled after you reach score 10 or bigger. And obviously the rocks also spawn after the score hits 10. So now that the gameplay is mostly finished, it's time to create some of the polishing stuff like a menu. But first I had to come up with a name for this masterpiece of a game. After a lot of thinking, there really is only one acceptable option. Say hello to Juan Tap. So I went into Canva and created some nice artwork for the starting scene and put it together. And that's the final result. I'm pretty happy with it. Lastly, I had to add some sound effects for the jumping and the collision, which was surprisingly easy, because you just have to import the file and say play, and it just does it. Also, I found this song that I think is a pretty good fit for the game, and yeah, that is Juan Tap. That's the game. So sit back and enjoy some high quality gameplay of the only and the best Juan Tap player there is. To be honest, I didn't expect this to be that easy, because before I made this little project here, I really wasn't a big fan of JavaScript. But now I totally get why people are. It's just super simple and fast to create something, and I actually had a lot of fun making the game. Not only JavaScript, but the whole game making process was a lot of fun and very different from my daily programming work, so I'll probably make some other games in the future, and who knows, maybe even a 3D one. So if you're interested in making your own game, check out Kaboom.js, and if you want to play Juantap or look at the code, Everything is available in the GitHub repository. There is a link for everything in the video description. If you like this kind of videos, you should definitely subscribe because I'm planning to make more of those in the future. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.